Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This video I will be showing you all of the journals that I finished for 2023 and I've done this exact same video in the past so I will link those videos down below. This is just a little tradition that I like to do on my channel and it's fun to see all the notebooks that I finished this year. So let's just get started. If you're not aware, I'm doing a zero stash journey on my channel where I'm trying to go through all of my blank notebooks and I started with 76 notebooks this year and I said in my blank notebooks video that I wanted to focus on my pocket notebooks, my small notebooks. So as you see, in the first half of the year, I did do that and then the second half, I started to do a little experimenting. And I did slow down a little on journaling towards the end of the year and I will go into more detail later. But let's just go ahead and start. My very first journal this year is a pocket moleskin notebook. This one's the soft cover. I did decorate the cover but my stickers are falling apart. And I really do like the pocket moleskin size. It is such a cute portable size. Sometimes I put this in a letter cover and sometimes I didn't just because I find the size to be so holdable. So my current journal is also actually another pocket moleskin and as you see, I don't even have a cover for it. This just feels so good in the hand and I like this size so much that I was thinking that maybe I should use a pocket bullet journal for planning next year. But that's just me being a little fanciful, I think, because I already have a planner for next year and I'll also link that video down below. I mentioned that I am committed to using up my stash and finishing up what I already have so I'm trying very hard not to switch planners from the one that I intended to use but we'll see it's still December I guess so I have time to change my mind but yeah this was my very first journal for the year this is volume 39 January 1st to February 10 and then I cut down a package of Pocky and just pasted it into my journal I like doing that in my journal so Looks like a box of candy. That's so cute. And then the insides of this journal, sometimes I did collaging, sometimes I just did pure writing, whatever I felt like at the time. So I like cutting down packages like this and putting them in my journal. Yeah, that was my very first journal this year. And then my next four journals are actually passport size inserts. So I was in a passport size traveler's notebook after I finished my pocket moleskin. And I count all of this as one volume, so I have this string to tie them all together. Let's see if I dated them. So here we go, volume 40, February 11 to March 29. So this was the first insert I went through. And then here's the second one that used to be an art journal, and then I just repurposed this into a regular journal. And then the third insert for this volume, and then the last one. So all of that is one volume. And then after I finished these inserts, I moved on to my Daiso inserts, still in a Passport Traveler's Notebook. But these inserts have a lot of pages in them, so I did count these as their own individual volumes. So the first one I finished was the pink one, volume 41, March 30th to April 26th. And then this is the second Daiso insert that I finished. So these three came in a pack, volume 42, April 27th to May 30th. And then the last one is... Volume 43, May 31st to June 21st. So I always like to put a picture in the front of my journals. And then once I finished these inserts, I decided to try something different. I wanted to try journaling in a personal rings binder. So this is a super cute binder that I bought on AliExpress a couple of years ago. And I did do some layering technique on it with this scrapbook paper of the sky. So you get this nice flower against the blue sky. But the insides are still the same. Collaging, journaling, whatever's on my mind, whatever I want to do. So here it is, volume 44, June 22nd to August 5th. And I had a lot of fun journaling in personal rings, actually. It's not that much different from what I usually do. It's just in rings. The rings did get in the way whenever I would write, but I got used to it pretty quickly. And then after that, I moved on to another personal rings binder. This would be volume 45, but I don't think I decorated the front yet because I've been procrastinating. So let me just check the front real quick. Yeah, so the front is still blank, but this is volume 45. I started this August 6th, and then I ended it on, and I'm sure it was a while before I filled up this one. October 27th was my last entry here, so that tracks because October 28th, I flew out to the Philippines to see my family, and that is when I moved into this notebook. So this is my current journal, volume 46. I started this on November 3rd, so 
I started this journal when I was in the Philippines. I was there for two weeks, but I didn't really journal very much. And days would pass where I wouldn't even look at this notebook at all because I was busy spending time with family and just enjoying my time there. So it was around June or July when I really slowed down on my journaling and I think it's because of two main reasons. So the first one is I actually started journaling in a five-year journal. Let me just take it out of my cover. This one right here. So I did personalize it a little bit because I actually dropped this on the kitchen floor and then the spine cracked open here. So I had to repair this and I just put some tape on the spine. But anyway, I started this five-year journal in the middle of June and I've been very consistent with it. So here we go. June all the way up until now. So I make it a point to fill this out every day. And that really helped me a lot because I didn't feel the pressure to do long form journaling anymore because it does take time and sometimes I get busy or I'm just too tired or I want to do something else. So as long as I write in my five-year journal, I don't feel the need to journal in my daily journal so much. Then the second reason why I slow down on journaling is because life just started ramping up for me in the summer. I had a friend who came over and visited so we spent the weekend at a hotel together. That was so much fun. And that was the time when I really fell off on journaling because I wanted to focus my attention on her and just focusing on having a good time. After that, we were actually supposed to go to Hawaii for a wedding in August, but unfortunately the week before the wedding is when the wildfires happened, so that got canceled. But preparing for that still took a good bit of my attention as well. And then November, we flew to the Philippines for two weeks, and then we went on another trip for Thanksgiving. So life has just been super busy for me, and I didn't necessarily have the time or energy to sit down and write all about it. Again, as long as I was putting it in my five-year journal and also my planner, I didn't feel the need to use my daily journals for them. That said, I am still journaling. It's just not as much. I've only filled up this much of my current journal. So I still have a long way to go. I did use the back for note-taking. I recently read the book Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport, so it's a bit of a mess, but here are my notes. And I really like that book. I'm glad that I read it because I had so many takeaways from that book. So I do use the back for random notes and then the front is for my personal journaling. But I have definitely slowed down on my journaling and I'm perfectly happy with that. That just frees up a lot more time for me to do other things and pursue other hobbies. I've been getting back into crochet. I've gone back into reading. I'm playing a new to me game right now. So that's been a lot of fun. And I still love journaling, but I also want to make room for other interests too. With that being said, for 2023, I went ahead and finished 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 journals, plus the one that I'm currently working on. And that's not bad at all. I don't usually pressure myself to finish however many journals in the year. It's just however many I filled. But that being said, since I am on my zero stash journey, I did go ahead and do the math on my current blank notebooks. And I just have it here on a piece of paper. So since my last update in October, I have 63 notebooks remaining. I already counted off the 10 journals I completed from that number. But since then, I did start two notebooks. So my current pocket moleskin. And then the last time, I think I forgot to count my reference insert for my Hobonichi Weeks, which is over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and count that. So I started two notebooks since then. And then I also decluttered five notebooks because when I was going to the Philippines, my mom asked me if I had a spare notebook for her to use while we were there. And of course I did because I had so many. So she took one and then I took four more to bring over for my other relatives and they did take them. So that was nice. And then I have two notebooks. The first one is a standard traveler's notebook insert that I got from this traveler's notebook. I bought this in the Philippines. I went to the fully booked bookstore in BGC and I was pleasantly surprised that they sold traveler's notebooks. So I had to get the black one. So this was my stationery souvenir from my trip there. And then I also made this insert for a little travel journal when my friend came to visit. But as you see, I barely started it. So I don't know if I'm going to use this as a travel journal anymore or maybe just repurpose this into a regular journal. But either case, I do have this, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to my stash. So I have two new notebooks, and that brings my number to 58 notebooks remaining, which at the start of the year, I had 76. So that is minus 18. I think that's pretty good progress, especially when I slow down on my journaling the second half of the year. And I am still committed to going through my stash. It's probably going to go slower than how it was 
previous years just because again I'm putting in my energy towards other hobbies and also we do have very big plans for next year so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to dedicate as much time to this hobby as I have. It was really easy for me to sit down and play a lot with my notebooks when the pandemic was happening and we were stuck at home and my baby was still small and I didn't really have as much to do I felt like. But now that life has been ramping up for me, I do need to reshift my priorities. But I still definitely love journaling. I am still doing it. I'm still committed. I'm just gonna be slowing down from here on out. With all that being said, 10 journals finished for 2023. I'm very happy. So that's it for this video. I am going to be filming another video, which is going to be my stationary empties. So I've actually been holding on to all of the stationery I used up in this little baggie. And we're going to be opening it together in the next video. So do stick around for that. Until then, thank you so much for watching. This is Baba Nelson. I will see you next time. Bye!